Hi, this is Sharon here. In this video, I'm going to teach you Oxford Reading Cycle Book 5. Here is a story that is how I learned to write. How you learn to write, guys. So here is a story. This is the story conveys the masses. So that is the message. Success comes only after failure. That means so if one fails in doing something first time, he shouldn't get disheartened but try to do it even better next time. That way one can achieve whatever one wishes to be. So this is the story, interesting story. If you read the story, you find it interesting and you enjoy the story. Here's some question answer, reference content, and here's some true false, and, uh, uh, and also may, uh, lots of exercise there you can practice. And I will give you all the answer. Make sure you watch the video. If you are not understand, watch the video again and again. It can help you guys. So yeah, and in my description box, I'll give you the answer. You check it. Yeah. How I learned to write. When I was a little fellow, we used to study every day. And only on Sundays, the holidays went out and played with our brothers. Once my father said the children must learn to write, send them to the writing school. I was the youngest of the brothers and I asked, may I too learn to write? My father said, you will fall down. I could see that he did not want me to join my older brothers. I began beg him to let me learn and almost cried. All right, my father said, you may go to only look out. Don't cry when you fall off. He who does not once fall down from a horse will not learn to ride. So here's the one question that who says this and to whom? And what does he say before this? When Wednesday came, all three of us were taken to the riding school. We, won we entered by a large porch and from the large porch went to a smaller one. Beyond the porch was a very large room. Instead of a floor, it had sand. And in this room were gentlemen and ladies and just such boys as we that was riding school. The riding school was not very light and there was a smell of horses and you could hear them snap whips and call to the horses and horses strike their hooves against the wooden walls. At first I was frightened and could not see things well. Then our velvet called the riding master over to us. He said, give these boys some horses. They are going to learn how to ride. The master said, all right. Then he looked at me and said, he is very small yet. But he velvet said, the velvet said, he promised not to cry when he falls down. The master laughed and went away. Then they brought three saddle horses and we took off our cloaks and walked down a staircase to the riding school. My brothers climbed onto their horses and sat up straight and tall on the saddles. The master was holding a horse by a cord and my brothers rode around him. At first they rode at a slow pace and later at a trot. Then they brought a pony. It was a red horse and his tail was cut off. He was called Rudy. The master laughed and said to me, well, young gentleman, get on your horse. I was both happy and afraid and tried to act in such a manner 
as not to be noticed by anybody. For a long time, I tried to get my foot into the strap and but could not do it because I was too small. So what impact do these words have uh, on a listener that is he is very small yet then the master noticed that i was still standing by the pony he raised me up in his hands and put me on the saddle the young master is very, is not heavy he said about two pounds in weight that is all at first he held me by my hand but i saw that my brothers were not held and so i begged him to let go on me i was not afraid he asked i was very much afraid but i say that i was not i was so afraid because rudy kept dropping his ears and i thought he was angry at me the master said look out don't fall down and let go of me. At first, Rudy went at a slow pace and I sat up straight. And But the saddle was sleek and I was afraid I would slip off. Well, are you fast in the saddle? The master asked me. So here is some questions. Here is some word meaning. It's very important to understand. That is sleek. Sleek means smooth or glacy. That is the body. And here is the uh, fast. That is fast in the saddle. That means firmly fixed or attached. Yes, I am. I said. If so, go at a slow trot. And the master clicked his tongue. And Rudy started at a slow trot and began to jog me. But I kept silent and tried not to sleep to one side. Oh, I find young gentleman indeed. The master praised me. I was very glad to hear it. Just then the master's friend went up to him and began to talk with him. And the master stopped looking at me. Suddenly, I felt that I had slipped a little to one side on my saddle. I wanted to straighten myself up, but was unable to do so. I wanted to call out to the master to stop the horse, but I thought it would be a disgrace if I didn't, and so I kept silence. The master was not looking at me and Rudy ran at a trot and I slipped a steel or more to one side. I looked at the master and thought that he would keep me but he was still talking with his friend and without looking at me kept repeating well done young gentleman I was now all together to one side and was very much frightened i thought that i was lost but i felt ashamed to cry and rudy shook me up once more and i slipped off entirely and fell to the ground then rudy stopped and master looked at me looked at the horse and saw that i was not on him he said i declare my young gentleman was dropped off and walked over to me then i told him that i was not hurt he laughed and said a child's body is soft i felt like uh, crying i held back my tears i asked him to put me again on the horse and i was lifted on the horse and after that i did not fall down again those we rode uh, twice a week in the riding school and i soon learned to ride well and was not afraid of anything so here is a one question that is the reference context read this line from the story then answer here is some question like a 
a child's body is soft so who says this this is master says this and why why does he says what's the reason and what does he mean that question that is a child's body is a soft so who says this so the master says this and why does he say it and what does he mean it here's a whenever a child whenever a young boy try to learn ride he is a he try to um, uh, his father tells him he can go learn to ride a horse but do not cry even if he falls off it so when he fall down he didn't say yeah i didn't get hurt so that time the master said a child's body is soft that's why he didn't get hurt so yeah it's an interesting story that's all for today thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video keep watching and keep practicing and good luck your english language test thank you so much guys